If you haven't watched it, please watch my original video on normalizing a relation into second normal form uh, before watching this video, normalizing relation into third normal form. What we're going to be doing here is continuing uh, what we did in the previous video, so um, make sure you're all caught up. If you look at the dependencies, dependencies that we have here now, um, we need to continue normalizing these because they're all not in third normal form. Third normal form in a database means that there's no non-key attributes determining other non-key attributes. So what that means is if we look at our original uh, relation here, A, a non-key attribute determining a non-key attribute would be something like 6 determining 7. You can see both of those are not primary keys in that particular relation. So in order to normalize this, we need to look at our relations. We have what A has become, A123. There's nothing wrong with that because there's no non-primary keys in there. Uh, there's no non-key attributes. So we move down to, uh, to B, and we see, or rather up to B, we see we have B145. Now 45 is our 4 and 5 together, our non-key attributes. So if we look back here in our functional dependencies, we see that 4 determines 5. That's a problem. We need to create another relation, we'll call it F, which deals with 4 and 5. So we make 4 our primary key, and then we take B, and we make 4 our foreign key. And then we remove 5 from it. Then we have to write another statement. F4 must exist in B4. So basically, this means we've rationalized this, or normalized it, into third normal form. So now we move on, we go to C, and we see that if C is 2 and 3, determine 6, 7, 8, and 9. But actually, we can't use that one because later on C changes. So we have to look at C, 2, 3, 8. Now there's nothing wrong with this one because there's only one, a single, non-key attribute, 8. And there's no way that 8 would be able to determine another non-key attribute because another non-key attribute doesn't exist in C. So we move on to D, and we see D, 2, 6, and 7. Again here, there's no um, non-key attributes determining other non-key attributes despite the fact that there's two 6 and 7 non-key attributes. We see that because when we look up here at our functional dependencies, there's no 6 determining 7 or 7 determining 6 up here. So we move on to E, there's none in there as well. We move on to F, there's none in there. So we've now re re changed this relation into third normal form. We've normalized it by creating our F relation here. Essentially, what third normal form does is it allows us to have no non-key attributes determining other non-key attributes. So that's the important thing to look for. There's, if we were to have an additional functional dependency here, such as uh, 6 determines 7, then we would need to go and look at our... Let's see, we would need to look at D more carefully, because if you look in D, we have 6 and 7, are both non-key attributes. 6 determines 7. If that were the case, we would need to make another relation down here, G, and we would need to put 6 and 7 in there, make 6 our primary key, make it our foreign key in D, and then we remove 7 from our original D relation, and we write a statement, G, 6 must exist in D6. So now what you've seen is third normal form.